Hello birdies and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking on another 24 hour challenge and it is very early morning time. Today we're going to be eating Mexican food for 24 hours. We've got some dishes lined up already so this challenge is definitely one that I'm looking forward to today. So you guys ready? Let's go ahead and go get breakfast. All right, guys, we're now back with a little bit of breakfast now. I just got some tortilla chips here. It's guacamole, which is delicious. Hand-scooped, has avocados, has avocados. I hope I'm saying that right. Well, I got this particular brand from Sprouts. We're going to try a little bit of it out with a tortilla chip. And I always have loved guacamole and tortilla chips together, so... Mmm! This guacamole, I'll tell you already, is really creamy. Very, very good. I got a piece of tomato right there. Mm. Honestly, one of the best guacamoles that I've had. It's pretty delicious. So yeah, I know this isn't a typical Mexican breakfast, but it's simple, it's easy, it's delicious, and honestly, it's just something I was great. I know there's other different types of varieties of Mexican breakfast you can have too, like I think one of them is called Huevos Rancheros or something like that. I know I'm not good, very good at pronouncing these names, so, you know, if I do say it wrong, be sure to put in the comment section what it should I should have said about it, so... This is good. So I'll tell you, I'm definitely looking forward to lunch and then dinner. By the way, these tortilla chips, these tortilla chips also go really good with some salsa. That's good too. Well, all right, guys, I'll be back with you in a little while with lunch. I will be back with you guys soon. All right, guys, we are now back a little while later. I'm sorry for the extra lighting, but I'll just say it's cloudy outside today and the lighting is not exactly great otherwise. And I'll tell you, it looks amazingly good. I got two vegetarian tamales. We have Mexican rice and we have a few little tortilla chips and some more guacamole. So this is going to be my lunch. I'm not too familiar with eating tamales because the way that you do eat them is you gotta unwrap them first. This is like wrapped in a corn husk. So you don't just like, you know, grab it and eat it. You gotta actually unwrap it first. To eat the filling inside. I think the first thing we're gonna do though is try some of the rice. Because I've really been looking forward to that. This has got canola, corn, and stuff in it. So, it's really good. Mmm! It's got a nice kick to it. I love the spices and seasonings used in this rice. Like, it's definitely, definitely good. And, of course, I gotta have some more tortilla chips and guacamole. I love it so much. Like, if you take me to a Mexican restaurant, I'm gonna order chips, guacamole, possibly a burrito. Because I love burritos. That's actually my favorite Mexican food. Mm. I like tortilla chip with a bunch of rice on it. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Something about this rice is really good. I love the flavors. So now we're going to unwrap the corn husk. So once you take them out of the filling, this is what it basically looks like. So these are vegetarian tamales, by the way. Mmm! Oh, I can tell you, these tamales definitely have a kick to them. Like, there's some green chilies inside of there. can't just eat tamales with the corn husk on them. 
You gotta take them out of the wrapper. Sometimes it's kind of like really cool that you can eat. Like when you're out, you can just take it in a, its wrapper in the corn husk. When you get ready to eat it, take it out and eat it. One thing I was reading was that tamales are very, very time consuming to make. Like there's a lot of love and a lot of work put into them. Point to dedicate some time because these are not as easy as you think. But they are, once you guys make tamales, you won't go back. Mm. And absolutely amazing with the rice. Overall, I rate this meal beyond, above and beyond amazing. This is my favorite meal of the day so far, by far. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera. I'll be back with you guys with some delicious enchiladas, lime rice, and papas con chili, which is some sort of potatoes dish from this place called Abuelos for dinner. And I will see you guys then. All right, guys, now it's a little bit later in the day, and I will admit to you, it is very cold outside we recently just had a drastic temperature drop from like 70 degrees and today it's actually snowing just a little bit and i'm having to wear my coat and it's 32 degrees outside we are back with some delicious food from a place here in memphis called abuelos they do make a lot of good mexican dishes and today i got some enchiladas and these have um ranchero sauce and they contain avocado this is cilantro lime rice i did get a side of papas con chili i hope i said that right papas con chili is um their trademark side it's a creamy blend of whipped red potatoes red and green bell peppers green onions four cheeses and sour cream so i'm gonna try a little bit of the papas con chili first now it's got a lot of good cheese on it like here's a bite that's really good that's a, a really good flavor Like, I definitely taste the peppers and the cheese. I love it. Mm. I'm going to try a little bit of the rice. This is different from the rice I had earlier. This has got cilantro and lime in it. I definitely taste the lime. <laughs> Like, I think that the cilantro and the lime are really balanced out well in this rice dish. Mm. I like this rice is not too salty. That's some refreshing. So let's see. I'm going to try a little bit more. That is so good. Like, I can't quit eating these rice and potatoes. I love it so much. This is some good food. I do need to try avocado enchiladas. Love enchiladas. If I had to pick a favorite Mexican food, like I mentioned earlier, I love burritos. But I also love enchiladas. There's something about enchiladas that I really like. See, the avocado. And then, then we're going to take a bite. That is an interesting combo. I'm de definitely tasting the avocado because there's avocado inside this, as you can see. That's good. It tastes even better with the rice. I'll tell you, these enchiladas are not bad. Not bad at all. I've definitely have had my good day of Mexican food. Mm. It is definitely one of my favorite cuisines. If you guys have an abuelos in your area, check them out. They make a lot of good food, a lot of good dishes. This is not the only stuff that they have. But it's what I was craving that I haven't had 
good enchiladas in a while. So just host the spot. By the way, by the way, what's your favorite Mexican dish? Leave your comments down below. And let me know what you guys like to order or usually get. And also, what's your favorite kind of enchilada? With me, probably have to be these or ones filled with chicken, cheese. Mm. These are good. Big thumbs up. Well, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this little challenge of trying Mexican food for 24 hours. I would love to do it again. There's a lot more varieties of Mexican food out there than just what I showcase. You got burritos, you got tacos, you got huevos rancheros. But yeah, there is so much more to showcase out there. Definitely a big thumbs up. I loved doing this. I love trying out these enchiladas, molly's. Basically, we're just snacking some old favorites like tortilla chips and guacamole. I've definitely had a good day today. Be sure to click the red button down below to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to receive these notifications. And I will see you all in the next video. This is Crystal. I love you all so much. Bye, birdies.